hello guys so in my previous provider video i got a comment from one user that is justin i'm trying to make a dice rolling game could you please create a video to show how to roll a dice so i plan to create a app for rolling the dice and i will just add an animation so that the dice should look rolling and i will add some audio as well for the same so let's go to the project and start for the same so first of all we need to add some dependencies so one dependency i need only that is for in order to play the audio so that is just audio so i just copy this go to project under dependencies you can add just audio and we need to do a couple of settings over there and this is for your android specific settings so just go to your manifest and copy this code so i just go to android app source main and android manifest so here you have to go to here after this manifest paste this line then we need to use this line as well so this is required i think if you're using more than 28 api level so i'm using 31 that's why i need to add it otherwise it's by default over there okay so i just remove this because i'm already inside this application tag so save this i think we don't need to do anything else yes okay so if you are working with the ios you can go ahead and follow these instructions same way for mac os they have provided for windows they have provided what are the settings we need to do okay so we don't need it now i just close it now i need the images as well so i already have some folders let me just close it so i have audio folder that is having one dice rolling music i just show you okay so i have the images as well so what i did i just collected these images for different values of dice i just close it and we need to keep these two things inside the asset so i just copy it go inside this asset folder so if it is not there you can create the one just reveal and inside the assets you can paste it okay that's fine okay assets are fine now what we need let me just set it up so let's go to pub spec and dependency is added so let's uh, set up the assets as well it's and we need to add this assets and we have this folder images yep images and we have the second one for audios okay just save this and close this pop spec close this manifest okay so let's design the ui first so let's just cut this and create a column so that i can add children and i can add this let me just remove the const and go here so here first of all we need the image so image you can take simply image dot asset and here we need to specify name that's fine and the second we need some button that is early rated button which would have on press where we will be rolling the dice and the child we can just paste that text that is roll that's fine and this one we need asset image so for that we just go here up let's create a list of strings so we are going to keep images like this and here you need to specify that path and you need to look for 
the name of the files so we have this i just copy it from here paste it so i just quickly add the images okay so these images basically should be changed as per the value of index so for that let's create one variable let's say int current image index so basically we can keep it zero initially okay so this we will be using here and we will be changing the index again and again so how do you get images then index and if you want you can give some height as well let's keep it 100 so you can choose accordingly save it so let's quickly just use one property of this column that is main exercise main exercise dot min and save this okay so this is fine we just add one size to box here so we can give more space i think 30 and let's do it 80. so you can add little padding around this so that it should look little nice and just use this const over here and remove this so all done so this is how the design would look you can just decrease this space now what i want i just want to roll the dice and i want to play some sound as well so what to do first of all i just create one random variable over here of random class and with this random whenever user click on this button it should say random dot next int so which would have max six value okay that's fine so what we need to do this value we need to assign to current image index and once it is done you can simply set the state or you can just uh, take it inside this save this and let's try to see if it works first of all you can see the value is changed now what we want this should be changed so what happened okay so we are just loading it simply that's fine so what we want we can just use this a sync here save this and just quickly reload it okay so what we want we want it should mimic the behavior that dice is being rolled for some time so for that we need to use timer okay so this code i need to put it inside timer so let's write the code here timer dot periodic so this will keep on executing your code so you have to give the interval over here so let's do what um, let's use const duration and let's try with some milliseconds let's give it 80 and once this 80 milliseconds are over what to do you need to stop it as well so for that let's take one counter variable so that we can track how many times the state of this dice has been changed so let's say counter is equal to one and just say int and this counter we can increment inside this timer so that we can track how many times the value of dice has been changed and the code we have we have removed actually so we use set state and we were doing what current image index is equal to this uh, random dot next int and we were giving six save this and one more thing we need to do so this counter is incremented but we are not stopping this timer anywhere 
so what to do so simply do what let's add one condition over here if this counter is let's say greater than equal to 12 or let's give it 13 because i have started from one so you need to cancel your timer do we have timer assess yes do we have canceled yes so we did timer dot cancel then you can reset your counter to one and what else we need nothing we just need set state and if you want you can cut this and take it away okay so let's try to check this if this logic works let's roll and we got some problem what it says load async okay so let me cross check i have named everything is fine it's dice one it's here is the wrong dice s so let's give it two so that was my mistake so let's quickly reload it and check it out okay so loaded let's roll and you can see the animation and if you want to give it a more realistic effect let's first of all add audio over here so for that we need this audio player class let's give it player is equal to audio player. okay so we got this audio player instance so let's go inside this logic part so rolling the dice so this one is sound and here we need to write logic let's say player dot so we need to set asset and that would be your assets and audios and then you need to specify the name that you can get it from here i just copy this paste it here and fine so this method you can cross check this gives us future so let's use a wait over here and we have already used a sync over here that's fine and once it is loaded you can simply just play this with player yep so this gonna play the sound and the below one gonna roll the dice let's save this and see so we just need to stop it and we just run it again so we got some error over here so let's take a look what it is so single dex error okay so we missed one thing we just go here into this android and just go to your app and you have a build.gradle and check for your multi-desk support is not here so for that we need to add multi-dex enabled and just use the property true m-u-l-t-i-d-x enabled yeah fine so we just save this and close this and we can simply run it again it should work now okay so let's go here and roll this so you can see roll okay that's fine now to make it more realistic what you can do i can just uh, go to my image first of all this logic is clear this timer gonna give us a repetitive tick that means after 80 milliseconds this gonna execute this code 
so what we are doing we are just incrementing the counter and updating the index of the image which is used over here and we are also checking for this counter once the dice has changed its state 13 times then we are just cancelling this timer and resetting the counter okay and just to make it more realistic i am going to just wrap this with another widget we have transform dot rotate where we can just give it some angle so angle we can just uh, again use that random dot next double and you can just multiply it with 180 degree angle let's save this and check this now you can see what if i roll seems better see so so we are just getting different values because we have used random we have seen the logic we have attached the audio as well and that's all for this video if you have any doubt do comment in the comment section otherwise like share and subscribe thank you